What's up, Internet? And hello! <laughs> it's me, 2G Flix, with your Gear Fix. Today we check out a new variation of a Kaiser knife we all know and love. Let's go! This is the White Mountain Knife's exclusive Kaiser Mini Towser K with thumb hole. WMK also has a normal sized version for those who want a little more size. If we look at the original Towser K, we see the major difference is the replacement of the thumb studs for a hole and now with a button lock instead of a liner lock. Here are some size comparisons. This sample sports what WMK is calling chocolate and glacier rich light scales with what looks like CNC'd hexagonal shapes. The rich light feels smooth and matte like and the hex lines provide for some pleasant texture. The scales are held in place by T8 Torx screws and T6 screws hold down the steel reversible pocket clip. The clip tension is fine and it slips in and out of pocket with no issues. You can adjust how deep the knife rides in your pocket with these additional pocket clip holes. The sheep's foot blade has a nice satin flat grind and is chamfered well on the spine and thumb hole. You know how sometimes some holes eat away at your nails because the edges are too sharp? Not to worry about that happening with this hole. Grippy and comfortable jimping runs midway through the spine and the sharpening twirl ends a fair distance away from the plunge line. The factory edge cuts really well and the blade profile is awesome for basic everyday utility tasks. The ergols are good for my medium sized hands in either the hammer or saber grips. For more detailed work, you can creep up on the handle for more control and there's even additional jimping for your index finger. With regards to the pocket clip in hand, for me personally it tucks in comfortably in my palm. So what's the action like for the Mini? The blade does fire out and the drop is smooth as it rides a multi-row ceramic bearings. There's no blade play in the open locked position. But, and it's a big but, in this sample there is some noticeable lock stick when disengaging the button lock. It's actually pretty loud but in this case I don't mind as much and I'll let it slide as the action is still smooth and the lockup is solid. I'm hoping it'll break in over time. Before we close, let's take a look at what's inside. This assembly is made simpler with T8 Torx screws on the scales. I like starting with the scales, then moving towards the pivot screw. After removing these three scales, we can easily lift the scales and see the skeletonized steel liners, the multi-row bearings, and the button lock. I decided to take apart the mini Towser because it felt slightly gritty during the unboxing and this is why. It was probably because of some of the black finish from the steel liner. After cleaning, we simply add some knife pivot lubricant and move in reverse to put the knife back together again. And voila! Clean and smooth. Thanks for watching, be kind to one another, and catch you in the next one. Peace.